Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead, and time for another home canned meal. So in my pan over here, I have some frozen onions and some garlic. And I'm going to start getting that so that, you know, it gets softened up and all that good stuff. I'll be honest, I forgot to take everything out. I was busy with my grandkids today and I forgot. So... I am going to post a recipe, but it is not going to be 100% what I'm going to follow. And you guys kind of know that about me already. So, I do have a can of my own home canned potatoes, which I've already rinsed really, really well. And instead of beef broth, I'm going to use my veggie broth that I canned the other day. And instead of frozen mixed vegetables, I'm going to use my canned. I have my own home canned tomato sauce, and I have some um, diced tomatoes that I did up myself. And then it doesn't ask for meat, but I'm going to add some of my grilled chicken to that. You can leave it to be all vegetarian if you want. That's completely up to you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that veggie broth right in there while it's cooking up. Because, or that chicken broth I should say. <laughs> now the chicken I shouldn't have to cut up too much because usually it softens pretty good while you're while it's in the jar, you know what I mean, and cooked. See how it's kind of just falling apart. I probably should have gotten my bigger cutting board maybe. But the canned chicken, you know, this one was grilled. I actually grilled it and before I canned it. It was really, yeah, really, really good. But I figured I can actually just crinkle this up. Because when you can chicken or any meat, it gets very, very tender. So you really don't have to cut it. I tell you, Tom's got a lot of jars to take downstairs. <laughs> now, I didn't put as many onions in there. As I normally would, but that's because there was so many onions in my broth that I really didn't want to over onion it. You know what I mean? I hope you guys are liking this series. You know, I mean, anything that I'm making, you can buy at the store. So it doesn't have to be where, oh my gosh, you know, I don't can, so I can't do that. Whatever. Don't think like that. You can buy this stuff at the store as well. So, that's not going to ever be a problem. So, we're going to get some of these jars opened. And I haven't decided if I'm going to use one or if I'm going to use two of my mixed vegetables. It depends. Get all those opened. And then I didn't have enough space in my canner, so I just froze some um, diced tomatoes, and that's what I'm going to use today. So, like I say, you can make this into a vegetarian meal. It does not have to be any meat in it at all. You don't have to do that. I just, I told Tom, I said, you know, I've got chicken down there, and I'd like to start using some of it up, so why not? You know, I mean, why not? So, the directions on here is going to say bring it to a boil, do this, do that. But you don't have to do any of that because everything in this soup is already cooked. My potatoes are cooked, the veggies are cooked, everything is. Um, the chicken, everything. So, basically, you're going to heat this up and it's going to be ready to go. <laughs> so, all right, let's start out with, I'm going to put my potatoes in there. Let's get our veggie broth in there. Oh, that smells so good, you guys. Eight ounces of tomato sauce. I'm going to use my liquid and all from my mixed vegetables. Okay. 
And then we're going to use all the liquid and everything from the tomatoes. This is going to be so delicious, I just know it. Let's put in all that chicken. And I want to show you, if you do happen to can, how fast a meal can go together. Kind of hurts with the watch time, doesn't it? <laughs> and we're going to put a teaspoon of parsley in there. And a teaspoon of oregano. And this works out good because I've had my grandkids since 4 o'clock this morning. I've been up since 1 o'clock. Grandma's tired. <laughs> Mom is tired. <laughs> and then we're going to use salt and pepper. Now remember, on my broth, I did not add any salt. My vegetables do not get any salt. My um, chicken gets no salt. So any salt that I add, that's exactly what's in it. Because I do not add any of that. Now my tomatoes are still a little bit frozen because, well, again, I forgot. <laughs> but that's what we got so far. And actually, I think, let me look at that with a spoon. I actually think what I'm going to do is use that second jar of my mixed vegetables without the juice. Or at least leave some in there. Because I want it to be more veggie. You know what I mean? Look at that. Oh. Now that's more veggie. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to let that heat up and let those tomatoes thaw out, <laughs> and then I'll be back. So actually, I'm at 7 minutes, 48 seconds, and that's how quick you can throw together a meal when it's canned. But you know, like I said, any of this stuff you could buy at the store, so you could put it together just as fast. So... Hopefully Jack will wake up in time he went with us today. And he always takes a nap when he gets back here with the kids. So hopefully he'll be up for dinner. But I'll be back as soon as this gets heated up and we'll take a test and then we'll wait for Tom. I just got done cutting up a big musk melon. And then I've got a watermelon to cut up tomorrow. But tomorrow we have to help my son move. So it's going to be a long day. So there's the soup. Let me take a taste of it, and then Tom is on his way home because we got to get to the chiropractor. Let's give it a try. Heaven. It could be heaven. That, guys, is really, really good. So whether you can it or you buy it at the store, that is good. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Thank you, thank you, thank you for encouraging me to make the veggie broth. That broth and that soup is amazing. <laughs> and we were all concerned about how many red onions were in there. And it is not oniony at all. I think it had a, a good mixture of other stuff. And yeah, it's not oniony at all. It's really, really good. I like that soup, and I'm not a soup person, so that's even better. <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting for Tom to get home, and then we'll give him, him a taste test. Hi, Tom. Hello. Going to go see the chiropractor today. Yeah. Here's some crackers, too, if you want it. Mm. Plus, we got us some musk melon I cut up. See that? Mm. 
What do you think? Delicious. I ate my bowl already. You ate your bowl already? Yes. Is that broth amazing? That is really good. <laughs> I'm really, really, really glad people convinced me to make it. Just letting you guys know, I have quite a few reviews to do this weekend. And if you don't want to watch them, you don't have to. Um, but a lot of that makes really good Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the best example, F-R-E-E. -E. <laughs> so I like that part. What do you think? You like that soup? Really good. Everything in there is canned except for the onions, which was frozen. Mm -hmm. And the garlic. Everything else was my from my canned goods. You got a lot of cans take downstairs, don't you? Yep. <laughs> take a quick bite. Tell me what you think, Jack. Tom snuck in, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's pretty good. You like the broth? Yeah. Uh. That's that homemade broth, too. Alrighty, guys, we're going to let these boys eat so we can get to the chiropractor. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Jack. Bye. You guys have a great night.